Gas pockets are very painful. Uh. 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 Like 
Oh my god, it feels so much better. Ouch. Do I have a blood stain on my panty? I hope not. Okay. Oh my god, it's so much better this time. Oh, it scared me. How did they know I was coming? I'm doing it like them. Aren't you proud of me? I'm just walking, I hope that I don't get um, lost. Hello. Right on over there one. Come on. Don't start. Let me live, legend. You are living. Numbers are going down. You have to go in the opposite direction. I'm 17. The numbers are going down. 15. All I can say is do whatever you gotta do to make yourself feel good in this hospital bed because you can easily get depressed because you're not doing your daily routine, you're not doing, you know, you're walking around, you're not doing your makeup or whatever the case may be. So do whatever it is that you gotta do to make yourself feel good. So I'm taking my razor. Literally the simplest things will make you feel so much better. Don't allow yourself to get in that depressed rut because, you know, you can feel the feelings, but don't become the feelings, if that makes sense. So just do whatever you got to do to get yourself through and just live in the moment. Enjoy it, you know. Whew. At the same time, I'm getting my stretches in. You gotta think positive in situations like this, you know? Don't wallow in your, your pity, your self-pity. 
I get out in a few days. Woo oh my gosh, I'm so hot. I got like this, I don't know if you can see this. It's like raised up. I don't know what the heck they put in there. But there's like a, a black dot. I think that's a hair. I want to like scratch it and pull it out. I'm, I'm like one of those pickers. I love to pick stabs. I love to like dig into like ingrown hairs. I'm weird. That's why I'm just like, oh, I don't even want to look at these wounds because I just want to like pick. Oh, so bad. It's such a bad habit, but oh, so cool. Day three update. I tried to poop again. It didn't come out. <sighs> I tried not to strain. But even with pushing a little bit, it was hurting so much. I got dizzy. It was terrible. Now I'm nauseous. Mm. I just want to poop already. Mm -hmm. I was doing so well. Nothing was hurting. But once I had to poop, the pain, oh my gosh. It was treacherous and now i'm just laying here i have a headache i'm nauseous hopefully with the food that i'm gonna eat now oh yummy that'll make me feel much better but honestly i don't even want to eat mm. Ooh. <sighs> yeah that's an update i feel really bad right now I'm about to call her to give me some medication because I'm due for it, I think. Hello guys, it is day four and I am literally so excited. I go home tomorrow morning and I am just like, woo! oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They took the packing off um, and it was uncomfortable when they took the, the packing off first off. They did it at like six in the morning. I was half asleep. I wasn't ready, wasn't on meds and they were just like, oh, it's time to take the packing off. They were taking it off and then they took the, the wound back out. And I'm over here just squirming like, ah! just like all crazy. And then um, like a couple minutes after, after I cooled down, like 30 to 45 minutes after, um, Dr. Blue Bond came in with Dr. Zhao and they came in to look and they were looking at it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I saw it after I calmed down because I had a little panic attack. Um, they were looking and then Dr. Bluebon was like, oh, let me just take out this dry blood. And she dug in, ooh, she dug in and pulled and I screamed at the top of my lungs. I was like, ah! oh my gosh, it was so painful. So painful. So I know that I already asked them for tomorrow when they take the packing out that I need, a, I don't even know if this is even a thing, but I was like, I need 10 milligrams of the, um, the oxy because when I wasn't on the meds and she dug the, the dry blood out, I was like, oh my God, terrible. Literally terrible. And all this happened before nine o'clock in the morning. Like, what the heck? I was still half asleep. She did that at seven in the morning. I'm like, um, this is a lot of drama for early in the morning. So I was just laying here, just like, <laughs> just like, <sighs> but I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, it's literally, beautiful like i pooped first the first time last night so amazing the slit that they had um opened wasn't big enough so my nurse ended up having to cut the the bandage off but it was fine because this morning i they took the band uh, uh packing not the packing the, the bandages off so it was like totally fine um so she cut it and then i just put like the the panty that that they had over here on top just so i can hold it back and um oh hello yes Hi. how Hi. are you i'm good how are you nice to meet you nice to hello, meet you Kevin. too you know I no oh i am um oh okay sorry okay 
Uh, I am the LGBTQ uh, clinical coordinator for the okay. hospital. So it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I have beautiful eyes. What's that? You have beautiful eyes. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I want to make sure. So tomorrow, did they take the dressings down and everything today? Yes. <laughs> did it hurt? Yes. Yeah. I was like, ah! Ah! <laughs> And um, how does it look pretty? It's beautiful, honestly. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. That's so great. Yeah. So that's all, bru that's bruising, mm -hmm. right? That will all go away. And she told me that I had to scrub all this off in the shower. But it's I was easy. like, Ugh. Yeah, it's just, yeah. But it looks really good. Yeah. You can see, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you like a flexible mirror for tomorrow. Okay. But you can see like your labia minora. And I'll talk to you about your anatomy tomorrow mm -hmm. too. Fabulous. Um, but your labia minora, your majora, where the catheter is, which is where you're going to pee from. Mm -hmm. So they told you the routine for today? Like yes. That's why I'm like drinking a whole bunch of water. Good girl. So that way I can just like go to pee, -pee later, which is like, yeah. yeah. So I'm just. It's going to be weird when you pee. Okay. Because they're going to give you a hat, which is a collection device for women. A hat? So it's, they put it underneath. That's what it's called. They put it underneath your ass. So okay. uh, I mean, it's in the toilet. <laughs> so it collects the urine. Okay. So that way we know, we measure how much urine is coming out. Okay. And then we scan your bladder. Okay. To see that the amount that came out is greater than the amount that stayed in. Right? So the catheter makes your bladder lazy. Okay. So we want to make sure that your bladder is awake and working okay. correctly. Okay. But it also, Wake up. <laughs> it will spray. Okay. So it will like kind of go left or right or kind okay. of out and down your leg a little bit. So kind of expect that. Okay. Um, that will usually takes a, about a week. Mm -hmm. to two at the most and it'll your stream will eventually go straight okay it's your your urethra is healing okay it's we shorten it and sort of open it or kind of fillet it mm -hmm. sort of back to the tissue and so that's why it squirts everywhere okay it's healing. um yeah so they'll take that out at 10 o'clock tonight okay you'll have overnight to pee and then tomorrow the doctors will be in early to take the um the packing Yes. And I already asked the nurse if I can have like a, a higher dose of oxy because when she took, she um she when she came to look, she took like a little piece of dry blood out uh -huh. and it was so painful. Yeah, so six like, o'clock. Oh. Yeah. I was just like, mm -mm. They'll give you they, yeah, they'll give you uh five milligrams I think. I was so. like, Can I have like a ten? Just mm -hmm. so that I don't feel anything. <laughs> Cause I, I I have a very low pain tolerance. Uh, did you did you ask? What did they say? Uh she was like, She'll see. She's I was like, ask. it's not for today or any other, because I was fine with the five, just like for the healing. But once she like pulls it out, I already know I'm going to go crazy. Okay. Because once she did that thing, I was like. Yeah. Ugh. And it's, okay. it's five to 10 seconds. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'll ask them. I'll ask okay. them. Put it in the to go see if they'll okay. do it. Just for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, they, so they'll do that and then we give you a little breather and then you and I will dilate. Okay. So we'll Sounds do good. it twice. Okay. You'll have to, uh, did they show you the video? No. Okay. Um, let me load it up. Okay. Make sure it's not in there. So okay. watch that a bunch. Okay. And then we'll talk about, so tomorrow, um, what'll happen is after we take the breather, I'll come in and you're going to, I'm going to teach you a lot about your body. I'm going to give you like these wedges and we're going to make sure that, you know, you're super empowered to go do this at home. So uh, one of the things is your canal is between your urethra and your rectum, right? Mm -hmm. So there is a muscle here, pelvic muscle, that will, it's, and it's only after surgery, it will okay. actually kind of go back up. But it, it kind of comes down this way, right? So you have to so, like move it? That's why you kind okay. of have to move. So if you make a hole, make a hole like that, mm -hmm. you know, this way. So it's usually right here, right? Okay. So for some people, that muscle might be right up front and then in the beginning of your canal. Some people, most, most people are here, yeah. right? That determines what size. Okay. Because if it's a little further back, we'll probably go a little larger. Uh -huh. And then you sort of like dive down past it and go like okay. that. If it's really up front, I'll probably go smaller. Okay. And then higher. Okay. And you'll see what I mean tomorrow. Sorry, my okay. hands are cold. You'll see what I mean tomorrow um, when when we do it. So, uh, but I want you, I'm going to teach you. I want you to learn and know everything about your Sounds body. good. And make you feel super. Do you have a pelvic floor? Physical therapy appointment for afterwards? No. No. Did they call you? I think they did. Okay. So and I. And then I had a pre op appointment, but um, at the time, one of my roommates had COVID, so I couldn't go. Oh. Yeah, so they um, did the video thing, but 
when I went to show up for the video thing, it was like crashing the app, and so I just didn't go. Okay, let's get you set up to, okay. um, uh, uh, did they call me the number at all? No. No, okay, I'll, I'll have them reach out, because mm -hmm. I, I want you to see them. Okay. Because they become like a dilation coach. Okay. It's super important, okay? So, um, I think that's kind of it. Um, I have videotaped everything I say. Um, uh, actually, just did it this weekend with my husband so he could edit oh, it. fabulous. <laughs> and so that way you don't have to remember everything okay. and you can refer to the video. Okay. Um, I'll probably have to send it to your email uh, just so I can uh, upload it. Okay. Because uh, I'm breaking it up because it's like okay. 10 it's minutes long. long. But, so I'm breaking it up into different segments. Okay. Like, this is about dilation. This is about douching. And yeah. douching will give you everything. Okay. Am I douching yeah. tomorrow too? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you'll, you'll dilate once, take a breath, douche, mm -hmm. take a breath, dilate again, okay. home. What time are people coming to pick you up? I saw my mom come at nine. Do you want her to be here for the whole thing? Do you want her to be here for the packing removal? Yes. You do? Yes. Have her come at, so 6.30. 6.30 in the morning. Yeah. Okay. And I honestly, and so tell the charge nurse tonight, we, we're kind of used to this, but okay. still I like the communication. So yeah. tell them that your mom's coming early, so that way they will okay it when they okay. call. So all your mom has to do is come in. Is she from New York? No, she's from Jersey. Okay, fine. Uh, just because if they're from Texas, then oh, you know, they yeah, have to have a COVID testing. So <clears throat> um, have her come in and tell the people at the desk that she's here to come up and help you with discharge okay. on on the 11th floor. Okay. And so at 6 a.m. right. 6:30. 6 6:30. 30. 6 30, okay. Yeah. And uh, they'll let her up, and then she'll be here for the whole thing. Okay. And it, honestly, it's so it's so nice when you have that because it's like extra yes. set of ears and support. Mm -hmm. Because right. when they were putting the IV in, she was the one that was calming me down because I had a, a well, anxiety then attack. Well, we should have her. Here, yes. You know. Whew. Yeah. It was really rough the first night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gas pain is terrible, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yesterday so, I had a whole episode. Anybody who's ever gotten the gallbladder removed is going to know exactly what it feels yes. like. Oh my goodness Because it's not the search. Like this is some pain, but it's nothing like the gas. Terrible. Gas is horrible. Terrible. I don't feel any pain down here. It's the gas pockets. Yeah. I went to walk and I was like, yeah. <clears throat> it was like over my, chest, yeah, it was over my, um, going your back at all? my breathing. No. It was just Sometimes right here. Sometimes you can see your neck. It's like fucking so random. It was right here and yeah. it was over my breathing tube. I was like, <gasps> you're farting? Like, Yes. Did you poop? Yes, twice. Okay. Yesterday and today. Perfect. I'm like, woo! She's ready to go. I'm ready to go. I just want to see if they brought everything. When can I take the IV off? Because this is driving me nuts. Tomorrow. Ugh. Really, not until, like, right before you leave. Ugh, okay. Because God forbid we have to give you anything. Okay. Then we're going to have to, like, put another one in you? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I promise. Okay. It's almost, you're almost done. I'm almost done. One more day, girl. Yes. And you're out the fuck out of here. Yeah. Well, that went well. That was a cute little meeting with the guy that's going to help me discharge at night. Um, I mean, tomorrow morning. So, yeah, that's really the update. I'm so excited. I'm actually waiting to get my COVID shot. So, I wanted to take a shower before I got the shot because... Apparently your arm gets sore and um, I want to be able to like shower, you know, nice without having my arm sore and actually like wash my vagina nice, you know, um, so I'm actually going to call for a nurse now to help me shower because apparently you get dizzy in the shower. I don't know. I'm just so independent. I literally they keep yelling at me because I keep doing things by myself, but it's just like I don't like waiting for people. Like, if I want to, if I drop something, I'm not going to call the nurse to come pick it up. It's like, what the heck? And then, like, the second day I had to use the bathroom. I felt like I had to use the bathroom, so I got up and I went to go to the toilet, and it was so, so bad. It was so bad. That was the first night that I tried to poop, and it just didn't come out. I ended up pooping yesterday for the first time. And then this morning, today, I'm like, yes, my bowels are working. I'm like, yay! But, um, yeah, I'm excited. <sighs> super excited I'm gonna walk more today I'm gonna shower today and then I'm actually gonna shower now I'm not gonna call them because I'm not gonna wait for them to come and um, yeah I'm super excited I'm gonna do a face mask now because my skin just feels disgusting um, I wish I brought my shampoo so that I can wash my hair but I'll just wash my hair tomorrow it's fun um, but yeah I'm so excited I'm really excited mm -hmm. and I'm tired of this freaking IV 
One more day. One more day. Alright. Update for day four. It's a day five. I get discharged today. It's like 4.30 in the morning. <sighs> I have this stupid face mask on because I'm sensitive to light. And I was good. I was really good Thursday. Um, I had three bowel movements. And... Ooh. I don't even remember what I was going to say. Um, oh yeah, I got the COVID shot. Learned about dilating. And then I was just in bed watching um, TV all day. And then I took a shower today also. Um, and while I was in the shower, my IV actually slipped out because the nurse is taking so long and I don't like waiting on people so I just got up and uh, took a shower for myself and I felt good but I didn't know you couldn't wet an IV oh, yeah. and I slipped out and I was like oh yes I can keep it up now and I asked the nurse and she was like um, I'll ask the head the head of um, plastics or the head of the nursing, the registered nurse. I don't know what the heck she said. I wasn't really listening. All I heard was, I'm going to ask. And I'm like, oh God, I hope it's a no. But they ended up having to put another one in. And I had a panic attack. It was terrible. I'm really bad. Oh, that's it right there. I had to get on the other arm. So my whole body is just pricked and poked and I'm just sore. I got the COVID vaccine. I don't know if I said that already. And I was good all day. And then after like 11 o'clock i got it at like 12 p.m so like after like midnight like 11 30 p.m to midnight i started getting all these symptoms and i'm just like oh my god oh shivers body aches i still have a headache um it's just terrible 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 oh sensitive to light oh i can't sleep I'm getting hot flashes. It's just, oh, it's just a whole lot. Um, I'm just so grateful my mom gave me Minerva because I've just been squeezing her all day, literally. I've just been getting pricked and poked and, uh, I'm just over it. My whole body hurts. And the catheter came out yesterday at 10 p.m. Oh my God, that hurt. Like a burning sensation. I was like, oh my God. Oh, I couldn't do pee pee because um, my pee pee drained right before she pulled the catheter out. So I just peed. It's like 4.30 now. Should I just drink water and then pee when you're ready? I'm like, okay. So I woke up with a full bladder and I was like, oh, let me go pee. And I peed normal. Everything was good. Fabulous. Oh, I got this headache. I'm just so annoyed right now. It's like, oh. And then I'm not looking forward to 6 a.m or 7 a.m. whenever they come, they come sporadically. That's when they take the packing out and I'm just like, oh, I'm just not ready for that. My whole body hurts and I just feel like I'm gonna be so sensitive to it. <sighs> so I'm just like, mm. I'm nauseous. Oof, it's just, mm -mm. I was so good. And then the, the side effects of the vaccine just hit me like a ton of bricks and I'm just like, oh my God goodness and my left lip hurts on my vagina so i have heat pads there to just like um soothe it which is working a lot um but everything looks good everything is working perfectly she scanned my bladder everything was out thank god uh, this process is just tough uh, but everything gets ugly before it gets pretty so that's all i really have to say i'm not looking forward to a couple hours from now because uh -uh. Uh, just thinking about it I asked them to give me a higher dosage of oxy so I don't have to feel much of it uh. mm -hmm. I just want to cry mm -hmm. oy, oy, oy. Uh, and I feel nauseous I just feel like throwing up uh. <laughs> that's how I feel mm update for you they just took the packing out it wasn't even that bad i was like ah 
oh. <laughs> like I prepared myself and I was like, Ooh, but it wasn't even that bad. Um, taking the catheter out was so much more painful than the packing. So I was like, oh my God, I psyched myself out for what? You know, so it wasn't even that bad. I feel so much better. Um, the symptoms that I was having last night, I don't have them anymore. So I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, whoo, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm feeling so much better. I'm waiting for one of the, um, the people. I don't know what he is. I think he's a, one of the doctors, one of the technicians. I don't know. But one of the people are going to come to um, teach me how to dilate. And I'm super excited. You see, I'm so much better than 4.30 a.m. It's like 6.45 now. Oh, look at God. Look at what prayer does. I'm telling you. Whew. Huh, prayer and medicine. Because baby, <laughs> I feel so much better. Wow, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take a shower again. Wash this hair because this hair is nasty. I'm ready to go, you know, but I feel really good. I feel really good. Like, my carriage is here. I'm on my way out. I just finished my last dilation. Can't sit up straight. I'm gonna stand up straight. Oh. Okay. Look at all the bags I'm leaving with. Oh my goodness. Of course I do. Hi, thank you. You know what I mean? Oh, after all, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just like all her time. Yeah. I wrote over it. Find me up here. The men make me forget. Oh. 